Ice Cube, the hip-hop mogul and co-founder of Big Three, has made waves with a historic offer. Big Three, known for its three-on-three -three basketball league featuring former NBA players and international stars, has extended a staggering $5 million offer to Caitlin Clark, the standout University of Iowa guard. This offer marks a pivotal moment in sports history, as Ice Cube himself calls it, a historic offer to a generational athlete. Ice Cube, whose real name is O'Shea Jackson, confirmed the offer while responding to a TMZ story. He emphasized the significance of Clark's potential impact, stating, Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the Big Three. The Big Three has a track record of breaking barriers in sports, notably with Nancy Lieberman becoming the first female coach of a men's pro team and leading her team to victory. Ice Cube sees Clark's potential as another opportunity to shatter stereotypes and open doors for women athletes. With our offer, Caitlin Clark can make history and break down even more barriers for women athletes, he declared. Despite the anticipation surrounding this groundbreaking offer, there's still one crucial element missing, Clark's response. Ice Cube expressed eagerness to hear from her, stating, We just need an answer, as soon as they are ready to give it to us. Until then, it remains a waiting game for the Big Three. Ice Cube remains optimistic, acknowledging that the offer is generous, and that they're prepared for any outcome. Uh, kind of where do we stand on this particular offer as we speak right now, Cube? Um, you know, it's always 50-50 till we get a, a no, you know, at the end of the day. With the ball now in Caitlin Clark's court, the sports world eagerly awaits her decision. Will she accept the historic offer from Big Three and continue to pave the way for future generations of women athletes? Only time will tell. Now, when it comes to predicting the potential paycheck for Clark, opinions are divided. While Kevin Garnett is confident that Clark will be looking at a historic paycheck, Paul Pierce isn't so sure. He believes that Clark shouldn't be earning more than Aja Wilson, who raked in $202,155 in 2023. It's a debate between the minimum of $250,000 that Garnett predicts and Pierce's belief that Clark should earn less than Wilson. That's Cap. They not giving nobody $5 million to play Big 3. You can't pay her more than Aja Wilson. So, what's Clark's take on all of this? Well, as it turns out, the 22-year-old guard isn't currently interested in anything other than NCAA basketball. No, I honestly don't talk about those things. Her main focus right now? Helping her team secure victories, like their upcoming game against Colorado. But let's entertain the idea for a moment. What if Clark does decide to join the Big Three? There are pros and cons to consider. On one hand, there's the potential for scheduling conflicts with the WNBA and the increased risk of injury from juggling multiple tournaments. However, the allure of Ice Cube's offer is undeniable. In the WNBA, Clark's rookie salary is estimated to be around $76,000, but in the Big Three, she could potentially earn a whopping $625,000 per game, with only eight games in total. So, while the Big Three may offer lucrative opportunities, Clark is currently focused on leaving her mark in the NCAA. But who knows what the future holds? As the saying goes, ball is life, and for Caitlin Clark, the possibilities are endless. Reggie Theus, weighing in on the debate, acknowledges the incredible offer on the table for Caitlin Clark from the Big Three. Speaking with TMZ Sports, Theus highlights the allure of playing in the WNBA, calling it lifelong dream material. He even suggests that if he were in Clark's shoes, he'd attempt to play in both leagues, though he's uncertain if the WNBA would permit it. Interestingly, ESPN's heightened coverage of Big Three updates indicates a potential shift in focus towards Ice Cube's league. It's a sign that Ice Cube may indeed be keen on recruiting Caitlin into the Big Three. However, there's also talk about Clark potentially becoming a game changer for the WNBA. Some speculate that the league might consider increasing its salaries in response to the lucrative offer from the Big Three. Joining the chorus of voices weighing in on Caitlin Clark's next move is none other than Los Angeles Lakers legend Lamar Odom. Speaking on the Bootleg Kev podcast, Odom predicts that if Clark enters the 2024 WNBA draft, she might end up losing out on a significant offer. He points out the stark difference between the $5 million offer from the Big Three and the WNBA salary. Like Clark, she'll probably lose money when she goes to WNBA. 100%. Yeah. But there's more to consider. Clark's partnership deal with Nike, thanks to the NIL ruling, opens up avenues for lucrative sneaker deals. As she steps into the WNBA, the potential for even more substantial endorsement deals becomes increasingly likely. Indeed, the disparity in offers between the Big Three and the WNBA is unprecedented. 
While no player in the WNBA has received such a massive offer before, Clark's exceptional talent and record-breaking performances cast doubt on what was once certain. NBA star Draymond Green also offered a word of caution to Caitlin Clark regarding the Big Three offer. On his podcast, The Draymond Green Show, Green questions the feasibility of the $5 million offer, stating, I don't think it quite makes sense right now unless you make that a financial thing where she can make a bunch of money. But $5 million, unfortunately, is just not enough. Uh, it doesn't make sense. And I'm sure whoever is behind Caitlin Clark is thinking about building a brand, not grab some money. He also raises concerns about how such a deal would work pondering whether Clark would have to leave the WNBA to join the Big Three. Adding to the conversation surrounding Caitlin Clark's potential move, NBA All-Star Gilbert Arenas shares his skepticism. Arenas suggests that the offer from the Big Three League might just be a publicity stunt. According to him, Ice Cube is simply using Clark's name to generate hype for the league. He points out that Clark is set to be drafted into the WNBA on April 15th and her contract likely prohibits her from participating in other leagues during the season. Participate in this, right? You're just using it for the hype. She gets drafted April 15th. The season starts, right? Knowing that contract says she can't play any other thing during the season. So therefore, you just throw it out there because she has the hottest name. Clark herself has confirmed her intention to enter the 2024 WNBA draft, stating, it will be my last one at Iowa. I am excited to be entering the 2024 WNBA draft. This aligns with Arena's assertion that the Big Three offer may not be feasible given Clark's commitment to the WNBA. Arena's also questions the validity of the offer, highlighting the disparity between the reported $5 million offer to Clark and the typical salaries of Big Three players, which range from $5 to $10,000. He wonders how such a substantial offer could be possible for a college basketball player like Clark. Ultimately, Arena suggests that Ice Cube's motives may be more about leveraging Clark's popularity than making a genuine offer. As the debate continues, it's clear that there are many factors at play in Clark's decision-making process. NBA veteran Kenyon Martin recently raised some valid questions regarding Ice Cube's offer. He wondered why the offer wasn't extended to other standout players like Angel Reese or established WNBA stars like Lexi or Candace Parker. Martin expressed concern that Clark might not excel in the 3 versus 3 format of the Big 3 League and suggested it could be a waste of her talent. O'Shea Jackson Sr. confirmed the offer and defended it by stating his intention to provide better opportunities for female athletes who often resort to playing overseas due to low WNBA salaries. He believed the Big Three could be a solution to this issue, though not everyone agrees. The debate surrounding the offer to Clark highlights larger discussions about the future of women's basketball and the disparities in opportunities and salaries between different leagues. As opinions clash, it remains to be seen how this offer will impact the trajectory of Clark's career and the landscape of women's basketball as a whole. Well, that's it for the day, folks. What do you think of the offer? Is it cap, or is the Iowa Star going to get super rich? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to NBA Bling and press that bell icon for more such videos. Until next time, never ever forget to shoot your shot.